Hey everyone, it's your girl Love West here, and today we did a very lovely look that I got from the 252 Ultimate Eyeshadow Palette from Coastal Scents. And um, I did a review on this palette, and you guys can check it out in my previous video. And I absolutely love this palette. Thank you, Auntie. Um, and we worked, I worked out of the three right here. I did these three, well, these four colors and black just a matte black eyeshadow that you can use um now i did the same thing um for my other um blue had me a hello but the glitter had my life video where i did the jergens and the chestnut and i mixed those two together just to, together to get like that glue or glow or whatever that was like one thing i did that i continue to do and then um i did another thing different um, I added Max Format, and it's just a, like a burnt on shimmery, not too, not too much shimmery blush. And I add that to like give me this highlight right here, cause I've been seeing a lot of people do that. So I um, tried it today, and I absolutely love it. It's gonna be like part of my everyday foundation routine now. And this was kind of too natural, so I added. Um, the same shimmer that I put on my nose right here, which is by Nikki K. It's just this orangey, well, like, it's not orangey, it's just, it's a pretty eyeshadow, but here's a swatch of it right here, but it doesn't come off like that. That's a lot, but when you put like a little bit, it gives you a little bit of a glow shimmer to it, and I added that to that to give me that, um, look, and now in the first lips in the first when I tried on the first lipstick in the tutorial I put I did the Nikki K um coral pink and that was in my Nikki K PSA Nikki K video a while back this was like a dollar I still got it um and it was it's like a coral pink like the name and I added um if anyone out there who liked that um I did orange tint by Nikki K which is also a dollar I added that but I didn't like it, so I just stick to what I knew, and that was Top by MAC. And I love this color. It's like my nude color. <laughs> and that was pretty much it. These are, I don't know the name of these lashes. I think they're number 100. But, um, yeah, they're, like, super huge and, like, long. Um, and that's why I keep on adding concealer because I had like a shadow over my eyes, so, <laughs> from these lashes, so forgive me for that. But, um, that's pretty much all I did. Um, and what, and I didn't add chestnut today, I just did fawn, LA Girls fawn. But that's pretty much it. Um, so to get this look, continue watching. Thank you guys so much for just watching my videos and, you know, just, subscribing liking commenting with your good advice and your nice comments thank you guys so much i strongly appreciate it and i urge you to keep doing it <laughs> okay and um thank you guys so much and to get this look stay tuned bye Hello everyone and I've already did my brows and um, I have a description a link a link in the description bar <laughs> on how I do my brows now so you can get that and I already did one eye so let's get started with the other one first I'm gonna use Too Faced shadow insurance primer and I'm gonna place that all over my lid and blend it out with using my fingers and then I'm going to use um, my face powder by Ruby Kisses, and it's in Chestnut, which will also be in the description bar. And I'm going to start blend. well no, I'm going to use Foxy <laughs> from the Naked 2 palette and place that in my brow bone highlight, and I'm just sweeping it on, not really packing it on. I just want like a, you know, soft highlight. And now I'm going to use that face powder I was telling you guys about, and start blending that out. But before I do that, I need to grab my MAC um, Groundwork Paint Pot just for more of a base for my eyeshadows to adhere to. And I'm um, just going to place that on like so. And I'm going to start back blending <laughs> that face powder. 
but it into my crease and then I'm gonna add some tape so it can be a um a good um eye <laughs> and now I'm just blending it out I couldn't think of any words um I'm just blending it out and now I'm gonna grab a orange eye shadow and start putting that right there and blending it out just using sweeping motions you know left to right left to right really really fast um <laughs> um and then I'm going to grab that Coastal Sense 252 Ultimate Eyeshadow Palette and I'm going to grab that chocolate brown color and start making a V shape out of it and I'm still doing super motions like so and I'm just blending it out so it can be a nice little smoky kind of sort of um, and then I'm gonna grab his Mac and bark and it's just a dark brown eyeshadow it's darker than that um, eyeshadow that we placed first um, and I'm just blending it out with this look I'm really gonna be doing a lot of blending because <laughs> I want it to look nice and you know transitional if that makes any sense okay now I'm just taking a matte black eyeshadow just a plain matte black eyeshadow no type of shimmer in it and I'm just adding that and now I'm just adding back that orange eyeshadow that we may have lost from all the blending and I'm just blending those colors like so and then I'm gonna grab some more embark which is that dark brown eyeshadow and making it nice and smoky and blending 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 just keep blending <laughs> and then okay I'm still blending okay <laughs> all right now I'm gonna grab get get some more black and make it more smokier you do that girl okay <laughs> some more embark and just blending it out I'm just making like a little V shape looking here um, and I'm taking my face powder and just blending it out some more. Um, I like to call this like my little flirty look. Like when I do this V shape right here because it makes your eyes look flirty. Um, now I'm taking Foxy again and placing that on my brow bone just to trim down that um, those dark colors because I don't want to go past my V shape or crease. Now I'm just taking this um, orange color and it's not really, it's like a burnt orange, a soft burnt orange color and I'm just placing that on my lid and sweeping it on so it can blend with that brown that brownish black that we created um, over here and um, yeah I'm just blending those two together to, together Lord um, now I'm <laughs> taking a lighter orange and placing that on top of the orange and this the orange that we just that orange that we just picked up it has a little bit of shimmer in it just a little bit um and now i'm just gonna blend that orange out so it can look, look nice and transitional you know it's just transitioning into the other colors <laughs> yes mouthful um yeah just blending i try not to talk in my accent because then you guys would really be lost um <laughs> So I get tongue tied a lot. Um, so I'm just blending all the colors out like so. And um, now I'm going to get a round brush. I sprayed a little Fix Plus on there. And now I'm taking a gold, a shimmer, a really shimmery gold eyeshadow from the palette. And I'm just placing that in my tear dot area. And then I'm going to blend it out. Because I'm just, I just want to add light to that area because we have a lot going on. So. <laughs> It's really, really pretty when it all comes together, you know. Um, so I'm just blending it all out. And um, then I'm going to grab my depotted NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. And it's just a white base, a really white base, creamy base. And I'm going to place that in my waterline with a flat um, brush like so. And I use that brush to actually, for my brows too. But, um for the for the concealer and stuff and now I'm just taking that green color and placing that on top of that jumbo pencil <laughs> like so and I don't know if you can use re a regular white pencil and then put the eyeshadow on top I don't know how that will work but let me know if it works out the same girl let me know let me know <laughs> Okay, and now I'm just blending all the colors together and I'm going to grab a matte black eyeshadow and just make it more darker and smokier and, you know, 
all that good stuff and I added lashes liner and lashes I don't I think the number of these lashes is 100 now I'm just taking a orange concealer by NYX and a concealer brush and I'm gonna spray some fix plus on there and I'm gonna put this concealer this orange concealer in dark spot areas on my face which is under my eyes um, my cheeks area my mustache area my nose area like you see so this is just the after how it looks after I blended it out and all that good stuff now I'm gonna start my foundation process um, I'm using Jergens and it's just a, sh a shimmery lotion um, it's not a white cast lotion um, and that lotion is used to enhance like shimmers uh, yeah <laughs> I gotta read the bottle um and I'm putting mixing it with my liquid foundation which is Ruby Kisses no more blemish foundation in chestnut and I'm mixing those together and just placing it on my face and then I'm gonna blend it out with a beauty blender like so and I'm really just patting it on like the way how you pat your weaves when it itch that's how I'm patting it on my face and really when you do this way when you do it this way it comes out flawless like like you see here now I'm all done I'm just blending it all out like so and with the lotion effect it's really giving me that glow now I am looking for my LA girls pro concealer and I'm gonna use fawn which is just a lighter version and um, I'm gonna place it on my hand just so the found, um, concealer can reach the tip of the brush so I can put it on my face and I'm gonna make like a lion <laughs> like right here I look like a lion um, and then I'm gonna blend it out with my beauty blender but I'm not gonna use the same side of the beauty blender I'm gonna use the top side like so and I'm just bringing it down and patting and sweeping it upward and right there that's how it looks when it's all blended out and I'm gonna do the other side and it looks really really natural when we're all done <laughs> and now I'm gonna take a concealer brush and just blend out some more just so I don't have any crease or lines in my foundation since we, since we did use liquid <laughs> a lot of liquid so I'm just blending it out so it can be flawless and then I'm gonna start to set everything first off we're gonna start off with our under eyes oh wait no I have to do my nose I'm putting um, Ruby Kisses 3d face creator in level 14 I'm putting the lighter side over my nose because my nose need a lot of coverage now we're gonna set everything and we're gonna I'm gonna start off with Mary Kay's um, loose powder and bronze too and I'm gonna place that with the wedge sponge place that under my eyes and I'm just patting it on not necessarily blending just patting it on then I'm gonna use Ben Nye's banana powder which is like a white um, powder and I'm gonna place that right there I'm not gonna take it upward or anything like that just right there and then I'm gonna let it just sit there and then I'm gonna do the outer perimeters of my face with Ruby Kisses mineral powder my face powder and Elf's flat, flat top brush and I'm just gonna pat it on not really blending it out people just patting it on patting motion is the way to go <laughs> and now I'm sweeping it off with um, a fan brush in sweeping motion <laughs> like so and then after I sweep off I'm gonna blend it out with the flat brush from elf and doesn't it look flawless like my foundation gives me life now I am grabbing cover girls loose powder and tawny and I'm just gonna do a little slight contouring of the cheeks you know um, with an angle fluffy brush like so and I'm just sweeping it down from right to left <laughs> motions <laughs> and then I'm gonna go over to that with um, max embark which is that dark brown eyeshadow that we always use and I'm gonna give it gonna it's gonna give my face more of a dimension and then we're gonna start doing our blush and I'm using that orange eyeshadow from Nika K and I'm just packing that on and it's a light orange eyeshadow and then I'm gonna go over that with a darker orange eyeshadow from Black Radiance which is not a <laughs> Black Radiance is a blush and it's called Soft Honey <laughs> now I'm gonna add highlight that shimmer highlight to my cheeks and I'm using MAC format and it's just like a 
a tinted orange with a little bit of shimmer to it and then I'm gonna go over that with more shimmer with our Nika K eyeshadow and it, it just looks flawless like I'm really gonna be doing this routine for summertime okay <laughs> and then I'm gonna start um, contouring my nose shortly and I'm using um, Ruby Kisses mineral powder and chestnut and I'm just con contouring it and then I'm gonna go over that um, with Max Embark here and I'm just doing right there on my nose. I didn't take it all the way up. And then in the middle of my nose, I'm going to put a little bit of that shimmer from Nikki K. And I'm going to place that down the bridge of my nose. And then I'm going to do those two lines above your Cupid's arrow. Like so right here. I'm going to place the shimmer there. And then I'm going to put some on my Cupid's arrow. And then I'm going to start doing my lipstick. <laughs> Okay, now the first lipstick I'm using is Coral Pink by Nikki K. You can find that at Beauty Spot Store. And I'm going to go over that with um, Nikki, another Nikki K lipstick.